Hello, in this tutorial I want to talk a little bit about light and I'm not going to start with a new scene, I'm just going to explain how lights work in this scene. I went for this slightly pastel look here and uh, a little bit of glossiness and I have a blue tint here and a yellow tint there. The background is white and there are lots of little reflections here in the specularity. Not so much down here because there's basically no uh, map with a with an HDR file wrapped around the scene. But we can do this in just a second and unmap the color with an image with an HDR image which I think sits somewhere here. You can basically use any kind of image like this one from the Wörthersee Klagenfurt. It's from Wiki Commons. And when you render the scene now you get a different uh, impression because the the map of that HDR image starts working on the object. This was the simulation actually uh, as seen from the top. It's a blobby surface uh, simulation of two particles with uh, from coming from two emitters. Doesn't really matter. Um, we go to renderer and activate Arnold here. You might need to click on the arrow here in order to start that rendering process. So it's a viewport rendering and um, you have to invoke this for every uh, view here, for example, in the perspective view now. Let's have a look at the lights and at the background. Down here is the is the Skydome shader, which is currently mapped with the with that uh, lake environment. This is a white. Actually, this is a white plane. The white plane is white because of this. Um, Let's go to plane and I gave it a surface shader. The surface shader does not do anything but just present a color. So if I turn this red, the background gets red, no reflection or whatever, but of course the color works on the object. So uh, this is something I like to do when I need a black or a white environment and uh, in black it would look like this, still quite good. Now the two lights, the blue one is this one and I can move it to the side and I can move it up and further there so it starts its influence on the object here. It's always nice to have um, point lights sitting in the back of the scene. Uh, you need quite some intensity, maybe 10 or so, in order to see it properly. And I can go to the to this kind of view and right here position it right here so it gets a little bit better to see. And I change the background now to black. And now you see the rim of the blue light. The second light sits here and it gives that yellow tint right here. If you put it very close to the object you get very harsh reflections which is nice as well. And the third uh, light I have, actually the fourth, it's the sky dome two point lights and the, f uh, the fourth one is the, it's basically my key light. It sits right here and I can move it away so I get uh, more lit parts of the object in front or I can place it at the very top like this and raise the intensity or the exposure quite a bit so that's what it looks like then. If you want to have a faster performance go back to the viewport you see the lights here point light, point light, area light and sky dome light and find your position and render it again 
either using this one or the Arnold render view here. And this is basically all I wanted to show you. Four lights to illuminate an interesting blobby surface object. Bye bye.